doing great, buddy. Good job. We got the boys working on the raised beds that are going to go over on the um, east side of the garden. Yep, let me throw some pilot holes. Little boys love it when they have a project with dad and they can help out. They just think it's so much fun. Well, we have had so much rain here that we haven't really been able to be outside at all this week. Uh, we finally have a day without rain this afternoon, so we're out here getting as much done as we possibly can in the garden. Um, I've got a lot of tomato seedlings that I need to up pot, but just so that you can see how much rain we've had, this is full up to the four inch line and I've already dumped it once. So that just tells you it's been a lot of rain and it's extra squishy out here in the garden. Um, but we're out here enjoying the sun today and getting projects done. Um, Maddie and Alex are over scooping out the chicken coop, so let's go see what that looks like. Got the baby goats soaking up the sun. Charlie on the right, and Liesl on the left. Oh, now they gotta see what excitement we're bringing. Hey kiddos. Hey kiddos. You working hard, Alex? Of course not. No. You need to help your sister. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. All right, so every spring we do like a full coop clean out where when during the winter time we will uh, just keep putting layers of bedding down but we don't worry so much about cleaning anything out kind of trying to do like a deep litter method so that they scratch and dig and kind of mix it all in together it helps it compost down better um, but today is the day that it's time to get all the stuff cleaned out and put out on our compost pile so that we can use it in the garden this fall Go princess. My cute little farm girl. She hates this part. Jack, yeah, the one's not helping. That's the worst day of the spring for her. <gasps> <laughs> but a part of it. Teaches her good work ethic. I better get ice cream after this. Teaches her good work ethic. And yes, we usually reward with ice cream. So we have a goat, Miss Winnie who we had bring had brought to our farm uh, early in the year this year. Um, probably, oh gosh, I think we got her January or February. And she is due, as far as we know, based on the lady we bought her from, to have her babies, or baby, I think she only has one, any day now. So I'm gonna come out here to the pasture and check on her and see how she's doing. Hey guys! Hi Winnie! How are you doing baby? How are you doing? Are we doing good? So Maria the other day broke my milking staunch so I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that but uh, as for now I don't have anywhere that I can actually hook a goat into other than my chains on the side of the fence. But I'll see if she's willing to do this for me without argument. We'll see. But feeling around on her, I really still don't feel like she's due in the next week. She really doesn't have an udder. And um, I barely can feel any kid or kids in there. I usually feel from the top and can feel them 
like a round ball at least, the shape of their body. Um, but I can't do that on her. And then also, we check the other. Oh, are you curious? Are you curious? We check their udder size, but you can't even see her udder hanging down. You can just see a little bit of her teat hanging down. And when I touch it with my hands, there's no roundness to it at all. She's just starting to develop an udder. So I almost wonder either she is going to really hide it from us or she's got another couple of weeks at least to go before she has any any baby um but yeah she's just she's really small but then who knows um our other goat mia yeah i'm talking about you our other goat mia um is always a surprise with her we think she's going to be due one day and then, you know, the next day, um, she's popping out a kid and we thought she was going to be another two weeks. Um, many or Winnie could be a mama goat like that, where it could just be a big surprise. We just have no idea, um, when she's going to have her babies. Um, but if I were to guess, she's got still at least two weeks, maybe even more. So we'll just have to wait and see how everything goes. not like to stay in the pasture with everybody else he wants to be up here hanging out with the humans and it's potentially problematic when he gets older well a quick look through the garden my onions are starting to stand up so that means they're rooting this one's not let's get him down in there a little bit farther it means they're rooting when they pull themselves up straight like that the roots are going down on the ground and creating a good base for the bulb to grow. Good anchor in the ground. My peas, my four little pea plants here, are doing great. And I saw one more pea on top of the dirt that was sprouting, so I tucked it under so I know I'll have at least one more pea plant coming up. Hopefully there'll be more in there, but as for now, we have four little pea plants. Um, over here are my lettuces, and they aren't doing too bad. They've been rained on so much, but we are getting new growth. Like I said, you can see the real ruffly areas of the lettuce. That's the new growth that's come on since I've planted the lettuces. And actually, I think the ones doing the best are over here in this little round pot my kales are getting nice and big well big they're little bitties but big compared to what they were they're doing they're doing well same with this lettuce uh, red ruby red I think is what this one is and then the black seeded Simpson is here in the center over here I wasn't sure if my um, seeds were actually coming up that I had planted of my Swiss chard so I went ahead and replanted. Now I noticed I got something little here and something a little there, but it's still too early to tell if those are Swiss chard or not. I came out here, oh, about a week and a half ago and this bed had been like dug up, like the dirt had been roughed up. So I didn't know if anything would still be in there or not. This is the kale, the dinosaur kale. And then there's some, again, of the scarlet kale. I just think it's so pretty. When it gets big, it's gorgeous. And then our onions, again, are doing well. I also planted some radishes 
over here on top of where I planted my potatoes. And the reason being is because radishes are ready in about 20 to 30 days. And that'll be right about the time my potatoes are actually starting to break the surface, their plants. So this way I get two crops in the space of just one. I'll have the radishes picked and long gone before the potatoes actually build up any kind of size to shade them out. Looks like the boys did well on half of my raised bed. This bed will actually end up over here um, where we've dumped dirt and things. We'll clean all that off. I know it looks terrible right now, but um, they were short of board so they weren't able to actually completely finish um, the raised bed. It'll actually be two of these uh, end to end just like I have. I'm going to make you dizzy. Just like I have over here. Um, so it'll be a double bed set up just like this one. Okay guys, so like I had promised um, last week and it ended up that someone had turned off the incubator. I reset the incubator and put new eggs in. So this is the first week to be able to candle the eggs and see if any of the eggs are viable. So let's get to it. Okay, here we go. We are going to be candling the eggs. Um, really what works best, oh, there we go, is a cell phone light. This one, because see how the whole thing glows red? This egg is not viable. It is not a viable egg. So let's take it and we'll set it to the side. Let's do the next one. Now this one is, if you can, oh, I probably ought to get the camera on it. As you can see, there's veining in there. And see how the color, oh, it's even moving around in there. See the baby moving? That is perfect. This is a good, healthy egg. Okay, next. This one, oh, I can't tell. I don't think it is. I don't think this one's viable. Turn it a little bit, Maddie. No, I don't think this one's a viable egg. Now, our rooster is four years old, so he's kind of on the... Sorry, I keep trying to look around the camera, and I keep forgetting that you can't see. Um, he's four years old, so he might be getting towards the end of his prime. I'm not sure how well this will all go, um, but we will try it out. That one's viable. You can see the line, the two lines. Oop, there's a line that goes across. I can't find my finger. You got your air cell up here, you got another line, and then you've got the darkness coming in at the bottom um, for the chick uh, starting to develop. There's another good one. So you can see the lines and there are the different layers, the embryo starting to form. That one is a no-go. It lights up like a Christmas light. That one's a good one. Oh, turn it back the way you had it. See this right up here? That's the baby chick, that little dark spot. In there, turn the egg slightly and see if it moves. Yeah, that one's good. That one is a no-go. Mm. We'll set that one back in. I can't really tell on that one. And that one looks like a no-go. So, out of our 20 eggs, oh, we've got one more. That's a no-go, too. Out of our 20 eggs, give me a light, man. Sorry. It looks like we're going to keep, let's see, eight, nine eggs in here. And just uh, double-check them next week and see if they're progressing. 
please like and share if you enjoyed this video. And as always, catch us again next time on Apex Acres. Have a good night, everybody.